Hello, this is Kenneth Wong, contributing editor for Desktop Engineering Magazine. So if you're a photographer, you may have good reason to worry about the software we're about to take a look at. It's called SHOT, and it's from BunkSpeed. It's been described as a virtual camera because it allows you to compose a scene using 3D objects, place them against high-res backdrops, then create a photorealistic image that rivals the best professional photographs. I probably don't need to explain to you the typical rendering tools that comes with SHOT. As you might imagine, you can import a 3D model in common file formats like OBJ, IGES, and a few other native 3D CAD formats like SOLIDWORKS or 3D Studio Max. Then you can drag and drop materials onto groups of polygons to create texture, color, and surface finishes. You can also use a panoramic HD image as a 360 degree environment to produce realistic reflections on your 3D models. The new interface lets you refine your materials, colors, brightness, bumpiness a lot easier. The same goes for positioning your backdrop to make your rendering look right both in aesthetics and in optical perspectives. I say a new interface because you might be familiar with its predecessor, the previous version of the software that goes by the brand name HyperShot. HyperShot, the company explains, was confined to the CPU rendering method only. But the new version, rebranded as SHOT, takes advantage of GPU rendering, a more efficient rendering method, especially for those with NVIDIA graphics cards in their machines. I should point out to you that the materials and environments you see under the Library tab are the choices available to you all throughout the software. But the materials and environment visible under these two tabs are the ones applied to your scene, so it's good to make that distinction. In short, you have the option to easily turn off ray tracing with a single click. That way, you can set up your scenes without complicated light calculations until you say you're ready to render. There's also the ray brush option, which allows you to concentrate all your rendering horsepower on a single area to get a high resolution close up of that particular region. The other function that makes it easy to navigate your model and scene is this model tree here that gives you a way to sort different pieces that make up your scene and your model. In the same model tree window, you can easily copy and paste objects so you can create an entire series from a single 3D object if you want. The software also comes with a straightforward depth of field function. Just pick the spot you want your camera to focus on and the objects in the foreground or the background in the far distance in the near field will become blurry in a realistic fashion, just as they might if you're taking a real photo. So if you'd like to add a decal, that is, to project a 2D image onto your model's surface like a logo, you can do that by loading an image as a color texture. Now this is one area where I feel the software can use some improvements. Positioning the image correctly on the surface is, at least for me, not that easy. It takes a few trial and errors. Ideally, I'd like to be able to grab the image, like I might do in Adobe Illustrator, then push and pull its edges and corners to reshape it. That option is not available in the software. If you'd like to add a new light source, you can use the software's Add Model functions to create a primitive shape, like a tube, for instance, then scale it to be big enough to serve as a light tube then apply emissive materials to make it shiny so that it can reflect on your 3D model. Once you've got your light shining correctly, you can hide the object itself from the scene before hitting render. It's a workaround, I must say, so I hope future releases come with a more direct way to add and edit a light source. Well, overall, Punkspeed's Shot is a rendering program that's easy to use without a lot of complicated functions to overwhelm you. It's particularly suitable for people who are not from media and entertainment feel, but still want to produce great looking images from 3D files. Till next time, this is Kenneth Wong for Desktop Engineering Magazine, getting ready for his close-up.